This video is an introduction to the CISO tool toolbox on MATLAB 2016. So early videos by this author have focused a lot on the original version of CISO tool which has been around for about 10 years. However, there's been some relatively major changes in the presentation and the functionality of this tool in MATLAB 2016. So this resource will give a quick overview of the new tool. The focus is on students doing a single course in classical control methods, so things like Bode, Nyquist, Gain and Phase Margins, Lead and Lag. So we want to look at some core skills that you might want on CISO tools. So for example, how do you change compensator gain using drag type operations, or explicitly, say by entering a number? How do you get the interactive views of all the plots that you want as compensator changes are made? How do you change compensator poles and zeros by hand using a sort of drag operation or explicitly by entering a number? How do you overlay step responses and frequency responses from different compensators? So the first video is going to focus basically on the views and options available and the later ones will deal with compensator design. So some assumptions. This resource is going to assume we've got a simple feedback structure as the one below. So we've got a process which we've called G of S, a compensator that I've here called M of S, and a target which I've called R. And you'll see also we've got an input which I've called U and an output which I've called Y. An overview then. First these slides will outline the core skills and notation used in a CISO tool. We're going to look at loop structure and naming assumptions in CISO tool, how do you obtain the core plots, and how do you change the compensator gain. And then what we'll do is we'll give a live demonstration on MATLAB, so go through these processes on MATLAB itself. So getting started, the first thing you do is define yourself a transfer function to represent the system. Here you'll see I've defined a G of S, and then you simply use this command here, CISO tool brackets G and that will open CISO tool and assume the process is given by G. I've used G here as this is conventional and matches CISO tool notation. And then you'll get a window a bit like this and you'll see on this window you've got your boat diagram for G, you've got your root loci for G, you've got your closed loop output step response for G. So what we're going to do now is go through the basic options and functionality within this tool. So what about loop structure assumed in CISO tool? The options are available under the architecture tab. So you'll see here, this is where the architecture tab is given. If you select that with the mouse, a new window will open that looks like this. And this shows you the basic architecture that is assumed in CISO tool. You'll see it's got a single loop. It's got a process, which CISO tool calls G a compensator, which CISO tool calls F, and it's assumed negative feedback. But you can change the sign of the feedback. You'll see this tab down here where it says loop signs. If you click that tab, you can change that minus to a plus. We're going to assume that F, that's this signal here, or system here, and H are 1 for this series. Now, there are other loop structures possible, but we're not going to deal with those. The other thing is, what happens if you want to change the G or C and bring in some values you've saved in the workspace? Well, in essence, if you click these green arrows, it will allow you to import a transfer function from the workspace into a given position in this block diagram. So viewing closed loop input responses. Now, our default view didn't have the input responses. So if you want those, you use this option, new plot. So you'll see new plot is there. So you select that, and then once you've done that, you select new step. And you'll get a window a bit like this saying, which step response would you like? Now, obviously, we want the step response that goes from R through to U. So we just need to know what notation does CISO tool use for that. And it's relatively obvious. You'll see it's got naming systems, which makes sense. So you see here, we want the input output transfer function that goes R to 
u. So that's the notation that CISO tool uses. We've already got the r to y that appeared automatically. So I select that option and you'll see here it is. If you look in this tab, you see it says io transfer underscore r to u. And r to y is the one that it already gave us. What if I want the Nyquist plot? Well, these are also available under the tab New Plot. So again, I go to New Plot, I select it, and then I select New Nyquist. When you do that, you'll get a window like this saying, OK, what do you want to plot the Nyquist diagram for? Well, in this case, I want the loop transfer function. And so this is the notation that CISO tool uses, loop transfer underscore C. So I do that, and you'll see the Nyquist diagram has appeared. And you'll notice the other tabs give me the other plots if I still want to view them, the root loci and the step responses. Now the root loci plot marks the position of the closed loop poles with a current value of compensation. So if you look at these pink blobs, those pink blobs mark the current closed loop poles. So a question is, yeah, but what if I want to change the compensator gain? So I want to be somewhere else on this root loci. So how do I do that? Well, right click on the bow diagram and select Edit Compensator. And then the following window will appear. And you'll see that the gain of the compensator is clearly marked. And you can just put a number in that box and you can change the compensator gain. We're not going to deal with poles and zeros here, but you'll see there's a tab for them as well. So what we're going to do now is a quick live demonstration going through these steps on CISO tool itself. So here's our MATLAB window and you'll see what we've done is we've entered a transfer function, there it is, and then I've pressed CISO tool G and opened it. I've not um, done that live because it can take a minute or so to open. So here we go, here's the basic window that we've got. Now you'll look at this and you'll say, OK, I've got my boat diagram. I've got my root locus, I've got my output step response. What if I want the input step response? Well, first of all, where do you want it to appear? Do you want it to appear in the bottom right? Do you want to appear in the top right? Well, I'm going to put it in the top right so I can see the input and the output at the same time. So I select this top right, and then I go new plot, new step, and then you see a find which transfer function do I want. I want IO transfer R to you, and then I press plot. And there you see it's appeared. Now the other tab, that plus one, has still got the root loci in it. So I can go back to the root loci if I want by selecting there. You can see there's the root loci. I'll select there and go back to the transfer function. Now I've got a very small window here. Um, but if you have a bigger screen, then you'll find both tabs will appear. It makes it a bit easier to use. OK, so that's the step response. What if you wanted a Nyquist? Well, let's put the Nyquist down in this bottom right. So I select the bottom right box. I go New Plot, New Nyquist. And then you'll see I wanted Loop Transfer Function C. So I select that and then go Plot. And there you see the Nyquist has appeared in the bottom right. And you can see it shows me both tabs, giving me the two options. What if I want to change the compensator gain? So what I'll do is I'll go back to root loci, because that might be useful. So then you'll see the pink blobs move. So I go to the bow diagram. I right click, and you see I get these options. And the option I want is Edit Compensator. So I select that, and you'll see the Edit Compensator window appears. There it is. So I can change that compensator gain, for example, to 2. And there, the compensator gain has changed. Now finally, you might say, OK, I might want a different G of S. So let's go back to the uh, command window and make sure a different G exists. So what we'll do is we'll define G2. Um, we'll make this slightly different. So there's G2. Now I'll go back to my CISO tool. So if I go to Edit Architecture, you get this window. And I want to replace G. So I go to this green arrow select the green arrow and then look I can import from workspace so I'm going to import G2 press import and now it's done it and I press OK and what you'll find is you see the root low size change the bodes change the Nyquist has changed 
the step responses have changed because I'm now based on a different transfer function. All right. So this short video has demonstrated the basic use of CISO tool in MATLAB 2016. We've not covered every option, but rather focused on core functionality to support students doing a first course. The following videos will show how to use the tool for comparing compensator designs and ultimately doing a design.